Good evening, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Mr. Fred and Friends. I'm your host, Fred Schultz, and uh, i got a pretty good show for you guys tonight. Um, I'm going to start out real quick here, though. Uh, I want to say hi to Paul Farrell. Paul's watching. And Stefan, Stefan, we're going to talk to you in a little while because we got a couple of your troops on tonight, man, from the Savages, the New York Savages. Pretty cool, man. Yeah, i got some great guys on tonight. And... Uh, but uh, Gio uh, texted me earlier and uh, he was telling me that we did a, Gio did a fundraiser and we helped him a while back for Craig, um, a, a really, really nice guy that we had on the show uh, actually. And uh, Craig has uh, stage four cancer and um, Gio was telling me that they, they took him to the hospital today. So, um, you know, we're, like I say, you know, we're a paintball community. We, we all need to stand together. Like, uh, like all the other sports do, you know, we're, we're a great sport and we need just to keep proving that we're a great sport. So, you know, all our prayers go out for Craig tonight and uh, I wish him nothing but the best. And, uh, and, uh, you know, I, I just hope he has a, a speedy recovery and he gets back home soon. I really, really do. And I'm going to say hi to uh, Damon Fowler's on tonight too. Gator melee. I got mine over here. Coolest thing. Uh, I just absolutely love it. Um, it's pretty sharp. A lot of work goes into that, man. And Mr. Estrada, Chica Joshua Estrada, watches us every week. Terrific, terrific guy. Appreciate it very, very much. Uh, tonight, um, you know, I, I've got some great, great guys on tonight. You're going to love these guys. You know, I've got uh, Francis Swain. Francis uh, plays with the Hellhounds. So I've had, uh, um, hey, bud, how you doing? Mr. Bud Orr just jumped in. And, uh, I, I had the, the privilege of playing against Francis. He's a heck of a player, and he's um, he's just a terrific kid. Uh, he's uh, he's the new face of paintball. He's a, a good guy, and he's exactly what you want out there, pushing the sport. So we got him on tonight. And then I've got a couple of guys that I, I just met when I went down to Endgame 2. And these guys are <laughs> – I, I, I've never met Taz. But I, I met Ghost, and uh, you're going to like these guys. They're from New York Savages back east because I'm trying to keep this an East Coast show tonight. Uh, obviously, uh, you know, I got William Bailey. He's, he's stuck in the middle, and, and Kiko, Keith Kissel, him and I are, are stuck out here on the West Coast. But uh, anyhow, um, it's going to be a great show tonight. It really, really is. And Bud or Bud's watching us right now, everybody. So, you know, uh, I give my shout outs here in a few minutes. And, you know, Bud's uh, always on my list. You know, you can't say enough about Bud or terrific, terrific person. Absolutely. And wow, we're knocking down. We got 24 live watching us right now. Whoa, that's pretty damn quick. I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, anyhow, let me give my shout outs here real quick, guys, so I can drag these guys out here because you're going to love them. You know, I'm going to hit them with questions. I'm going to find out. How did you get started in paintball? Because everybody wants to know it. You know, me, I love hearing how these guys got started in paintball. It's just cool as hell. So I can't wait. You know, now, 
Francis already told us how he got started in, but Francis is going to have to repeat it now because it's been a while. And everybody knows I'm old. I forget this stuff. But, you know, a lot of new people are watching. And so Francis is going to tell us how he got going in it, too, along with the ghost and Taz. OK. All right. So let me give my shout outs real quick so I can drag these guys out here. You're going to absolutely love them. Ah, my shout outs always start. Number one, always, Mr. Tim Schloss. Tim had tiger stripe camouflage back in the day, you know, the number one camouflage that was out there, period. Uh, there was just none better. Everybody wore it all around the world. Uh, very, very cool. And uh, Tim has Gateway Paintball right now in St. Louis. And Tim is uh, hosting the last WCPL event of this year in October. And let me tell you, if you guys get to do anything, man, you need to go. To, to that one. That, Tim's field, uh, Gateway Paintball, is absolutely amazing. It's 100, like 108, 110 acres, but it, it, he's just got it so groomed, and there's like 10 or 12 different style of fields, and oh, I can't say enough about it. You'd absolutely love it. Then I also have to give a shout out to Mr. Dan and John Colby. Ow. Immortal Air. They've been my sponsors. Hang on. 31 years these guys have sponsored me. I mean, they are, um, I can't say enough about them. That, that's all there is to it. They're just, uh, Danny, Danny's a, a very, very special friend, uh, very special friend, just like the next guy I'm going to mention right now, Mr. Bud Orr. Now, Bud doesn't need an introduction, you know, I mean, uh, Bud's like, uh, he's like the granddaddy of this sport, you know, uh, I go back, Bud and I go back, I don't know, 30 some years. I'll let it go there because that way, if I really tell you, it'll really make us look old. And we don't want to do that. I don't want Bud coming up here and whooping me or something like that. Man. So, but anyhow, uh, so uh, Bud Orr is watching us right now. Bud Orr had uh, War Game Products, Auto Cocker. Love the guy. The guy, the people I mentioned right now did so much back in the day for paintball. I can't even begin to tell you because we all started together. You know, it was really hard to sell the sport. You know, we got hit with the war games and all this other crap all the time. So we had to, we had to fight through that. And and we did. And these guys, uh, Butterwar, and these guys are still out here making a difference. Absolutely terrific. As a matter of fact, uh, you know, maybe a, a little while um, we can have Billy go ahead and send Bud uh, uh, an invite and see if we can't pull Bud up so he can say hi to the ghost and Taz and and he knows Francis. He stood right alongside Francis. So anyhow, and then let me get, finish these out real quick. Mr. Tom K, um, Airgun Designs, uh, was my sponsor for years and years. Uh, the Automag, everybody knows that. Back in the day, there was actually three three good markers. Uh, Dennis Tipman, God rest his soul, uh, was a very, very good man. Uh, he, he made a terrific marker. They definitely use a lot of them for rentals because they are tough as nails, period. But Competition, it was the Automag or the Autococker against each other all the time. It was absolutely terrific. And then Rainy and Juvie Boucher, Rainy and Juvie Boucher, they had paintball news back in the day, guys. You know, and I feel sorry for everybody nowadays that can't get that, but you could go to any field and pick up a copy of it. Two times a month, they put it out. And it was great. It, it told you what just happened, had stories, showed you where all the fields were, uh, anything that was new. They were absolutely great. They worked their butts off for a lot of years, and it really, really helped and made paintball uh, absolutely rock. So, ah, uh, the shoulders we all stand on, Bud, Dan, and Fred. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Another Facebook user, you know. <clears throat> I, I love Facebook users. I wish I knew their names, but uh, that's pretty cool, Facebook user. We love it. And so let me finish it up. Mr. Randy Camilla, APG Magazine, back in the day. Um, terrific guy. Gave me my very first cover shot, actually. Uh, Jerry Braun. Uh, Jerry Braun had Paintball Sports Magazine back in the day and still has the, um, the Woods Ball World Cup. It's going to be in June this year out in New York. And I got to tell you, it is so much fun. We went to that last year and, oh, my God, we had a riot. Matter of fact, it was pretty special. That's actually where I met Francis and, and gained so much respect for him out there. Um, you know, when, when we bring him up, uh, we, we'll tell him. So, up oh, we got guys in the Philippines watching us. Pretty cool. Love it. 
you know, everybody, they watch us like in, uh, well, before the Philippines, they watched us in eight different countries. So I'm going to have to add that one to us now. So I think they're watching us in nine different countries. So that's pretty cool. I love it. And then I have to say hi to Mr. Ross Alexander. He was my very first marker sponsor, uh, made the Bushmaster, absolutely terrific marker. And I actually still have it over here. It was uh, my, I played, I had constant pursuit, played professional for years. And this pump is absolutely awesome. I, I still got it hanging over here. Love it. And then Jim Lively. Um, there was two events back in the day that you wanted to do. One was Jerry Brown's World Cup. And the other was Jim Lively's Masters in Tennessee. And I got to tell you, when you do these, it was just like going to a family reunion, man. All your friends were there. All the teams. Is, you know, that that's what's so special about paintball for me, anyhow, you know, is a lot of these people, first of all, you don't get to meet like a couple of them I'm going to have on tonight, you know, like the ghost. I got to meet him at Endgame. I never knew him before this year. Very special, you know, and things like that mean an awful lot to me. And uh, that's what's making paintball grow is like I tell everybody, you know, we can all do things separately for the sport. But if we all work together can collectively, man, we can just rock this thing. I mean, we can make it so much bigger and better than what it is right now. You wouldn't believe it. And then I have to say hi to, to Mark Gong Jr. and, and his brother, Jaden. You know, Mark Gong is a, a very good friend of mine. Mark Gong played on my team years ago. He was in my television show uh, down at MGM Disney. Uh, Mark is uh, one of them great guys, and he has raised his sons playing paintball. And these kids are like nine years old. And let me tell you, they absolutely rock. Man, they are just incredible. And they've been playing for a couple of years, if that tells you anything. So it's pretty impressive. And then last but not least, I have to say hi to Gino. Uh, Gino from Belkin. Uh, you know, Gino's a, a, a very good guy. You know, Gino doesn't go out and blow his horn and go, I did this for paintball. I did this for paintball. You know, does Gino make a lot of money? Yeah, he has a huge business. But you should see some of the stuff he does behind the scenes. It's uh, it's absolutely terrific. It really, really is. So I, I absolutely love it. And I just seen Bud Orr say, hi, Ferdy. Well, Ferdy, we had Ferdy on a, a few weeks ago. He's with the Philippine uh, Paintball Worldwide. And I'm actually going to have them guys back on in a few weeks. Um, Ferdy is over in the Philippines right now, and he's watching us. Uh, a terrific guy. Um, all, all the guys that, that were in that organization that I had on, I'm looking so forward to having them back on again because they're, they're just absolutely great bunch of guys. And Tracy Perez, how you doing, sweetie? Tracy's a, a very good friend of mine down in Florida, and uh, she's done a lot for paintball for a lot of years. Um, very, very good lady fighting a, a, a bad disease, but she keeps fighting it, and she's doing doing very great, and I just absolutely love it. I really do. And uh, I want to say just a couple other things before I bring these guys on. Uh, Michael Baird, very good friend of mine, Machine Gun Mike back in the day, played with the Ironman, played with Concert Pursuit. Anyhow, he had a birthday yesterday, so I think he's about 108, something like that. Uh, but anyhow, Michael, I want to wish you a very, very happy birthday. And then I want to mention real quick the WCPL California Classic that we're going to have out here. And it's that combat zone uh, up in Oroville. It's uh, Jake Krulin and James Struttonsfield, and uh, it's February 5th and 6th. You guys are going to want to come out. And you're going to want to check it out. You really, really are. And then next week, next week, my guest is going to be Oliver Lang, um, Oliver Lang White Cloud, uh, which, whichever name he wants to use. He's, I've been looking forward to it. Uh, we were going to try to do it a while back, uh, but he was out on a small island somewhere in Indonesia and uh, the feed was way too bad. So we didn't, we didn't do it. So real quick, let me bring up my co-host here. If you wake up, Bill. Hey, Earth to Bill, Earth to Bill. Hey, what's going on, Billy? Well, not much. Enjoying the 44 degrees here in the Midwest. Gosh, you know, it's almost 44 degrees here too. Oh, yeah. Well, oh, okay. Maybe it was 54, but that's still damn cold. You know, <laughs> it is, you know, I mean, I got like three sweatshirts and a jacket. I look like the Michelin man walking around. You know, so, but uh, anyhow, it's, uh, I, I'm nice and comfy because I stay in the house as much as possible. I, yep. I don't mind the bad weather as long as I can look through the window at it outside. <laughs> no doubt. It snowed Absolutely. yesterday and now it's all gone. So just, yeah. Oh, oh, really? That was it. Yep. Oh, well, nothing to shovel anyhow. No. So 
Hey, we just had our uh, our ultimate ref, Mr. Dan Ringer, just uh, chimed in. He's watching us. Hey, we got 31 people. Boy, this thing just keeps jumping up here. Yeah. Holy smokes, you know. That's I know right. why it is because we got all these young kids on tonight. They they look, oh. you know, that was always one thing I never wanted to do. Put anybody on better looking than me. And then I started with you. You were better looking. Now I got all these young kids, which is blowing me off the water. You know, this this sucks. So you I think I'm going to bring them on and go get a sandwich. You know I mean? got hair. <laughs> they all got it. Stop that. <laughs> I absolutely love it. We got Gumby watching us too. And you know, um, yeah, the two guys, I wish you could have met these guys from the ghost. Uh, um, the ghost uh, from New York Savage, absolutely terrific kid. Uh, he was down here. He was one of uh, uh, Steppen's Gumby's uh, yeah. guys that he played with. And he went out to, he had a sombrero on when he went out to play. I, I love these guys. <laughs> <laughs> just so absolutely cool. So, what do you say? What do you say? We just uh, jam them all up here. Get them and let's on. talk some paintball, huh? See what's going on. Yep. See what's okay. going on. First, I'm going to bring up Kiko, man. Kiko, Earth to Kiko. <laughs> Remember, I told you, you, you can only talk with your hands. There you go. Yeah. Bill Bailey. You said to me. I know what you just said to me. I know what you just said. To Bill me. Bailey. Was don't it? take on people yeah. with more than eight legs. Oh no. <laughs> the limit. You know that that's your name out here is Spider Hunter. Did you know that? <laughs> Everybody goes, hey, you talk to SH. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I love it. I well, I'm gonna bring up I'm gonna man. bring up some guys right now. What's that? I'm bring them up. Afraid. Bring them up. I'm not even ahead, afraid bro. of them. I said I'm not even afraid of them. They just caught me off guard. Well, you know what? You know, when you're in the tub and you're all lathered up and everything's soapy, you shouldn't be jumping around anyhow, man. All those legs were on you, huh? They were just, no, ah, I, Billy. I turned, it hit my shoulder, and... Reaction. I, I drew back. Shower curtain does not hold 260 pounds. I'll tell you that right now. And, I uh, told you to get that iron curtain. Yeah. I, no, I, you don't I, listen to me. It's fine. I it's used fine. my left foot to, to break my fall. You know, I just kicked it, and it went right through the side of my tub. <laughs> wow. I usually use my head to break my fall, but oh. it is what it is. It, it worked for me. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so anyhow, I'm going to bring up some guys. First of all, uh, let me bring up Francis real quick. You remember Francis? Oh, yeah. How you doing this evening, Francis? Good. How are you guys doing? Doing great. Yeah. And I'm going to bring up a couple guys that are also on the East Coast. I'm going to start with <clears throat> Ghost. How you doing oh. this evening, man? Hey, what's going on, fellas? Uh, it's a pleasure and an honor to be on your show, Fred. Thank you for having me tonight. Well, it's an you know, it's an honor for me to have you on, partner. I want you Thank to remember you. that. Thank you, you know? so much. Yeah, hey, one one thing I do, you know, I'm no better than anybody else, and and, and I like it that way. You know, we're we're all paintballers. We all want Absolutely. one thing. We all want our sport to grow. Period. Oh yes. Now Indeed. you had a friend. His name is Taz. So what do you say we bring a Taz up? Bring How you in. doing this evening, Taz? Good evening, good evening. How are you guys doing? Oh, we're doing great, man. So glad that you could join us tonight. Very, very cool. Thank you. Thank you. It's an honor and a pleasure to be here with you guys. Oh, it, it's it's my pleasure. It really, really is. Uh, like I say, I love paintballers. You know, Otherwise, I wouldn't be in this sport. You know, I'd be out golfing or something like that. So, I, although you've never seen me golf, so paintball is pretty good for me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, you know, I, I always do my show whenever the new guys come on. And Francis has been on before, but Francis, we're considering a new guy because it's been a while. And uh, I ask everybody, how did you get started in paintball? Okay. So, Francis, I'm going to start with you. How did you get started in paintball, buddy? Um, I started when I was 14 years old. It was a birthday party of my buddies. We all went, had fun. Um Start out was really good at it and decided to keep going back after, by myself after that. Uh, eventually let my mom convince, convince my mom to let me buy me my first paintball marker and didn't stop from there. Yeah, you played with the Hellhounds, right? Yep. And real quick, uh, everybody, I'm going to tell a quick story here. Um, we played at the World Cup this last year. Boy, that's a trip last year. God bless it. Isn't that crazy? I mean, last year was only, what, five days ago. Anyhow, uh, we played at the World Cup uh, against Francis and the Hellhounds. And 
half of their team after the first day, I don't know what got under their belt, but they left. And Francis and four of his buddies stayed to go play in a 10 man. They stayed to fight it out. Now, that's why I, I had Francis. I had him and, and some of his other guys on the show after that, because that just, I, I gained so much respect off that you guys doing that. And then you guys had some, you know, uh, Robert Rumhill. Rumhill had a couple of his kids jump in and some other people jumped in to help you, right? Yeah, they had, his kids were great. And then we had Johnny Joker. And then we had, um, I can't remember what his name is. He does a uh, Overshot podcast. He helped us out too. Oh, did he? Yeah, because I, I knew that, uh, yeah, the minute the minute everybody heard about it, they just swooped over to give you guys a hand. But see, that's what I talk about, the paintball family. That's it right there, man. Very, very cool. Now, Ghost, I've been waiting for you, buddy. How'd you get started in paintball? Um, I started in my mid-20s. Uh, a friend of mine was like, hey, man, you ever played paintball before? And I was like, nope. And he was like, you want to try it? I was like, yeah. I well, know. Wait, God, you couldn't be over 23 now. <laughs> <laughs> Holy smoke. I'm, I'm actually 38 now. <laughs> wow, really? Yeah. Well, you're holding together pretty good, pal. I drink a lot so of tea. So go ahead. I didn't mean to interrupt you. Just kind, <laughs> no, it kind cool. of shocked me, you know? <laughs> and um, gave it a try. I liked it. And it wasn't until 2008 that I decided to play again. And um, I started with my own brothers. And um, we we started at Adventure Paintball. We had got an invite, which is in Middletown, New York. And it was four of us at the time. And from there, we just kept playing and kept playing and kept playing until one day I was like, um, I think I'm, I'm, I started doing more research and I was like, I'm gonna just see if I can build my own team from there and just take off. And that's exactly what I did. Uh, I started recruiting some people um, I started learning more and more and more about the sport. I uh, I learned about first strikes. Then in 2018, I didn't even know about first strikes, um, and and I just I just took wings from there and then just kept going and and now I have six chapters right now. You have six so, chapters. Yes. Wow. And That's ghost, amazing. A question: The ghost and Taz they were out here in California last month or so. Yes, we yep, was at that's, what I, that's what I was going to get to. Yep, yeah, because you know, Gumby's watching us. Didn't you play on Gumby's team? Yeah, yeah, you played on, yeah, on yeah. Stefan. Well, yeah, we call him Gumby. Yeah, the, the mad question. clowns, man. The Taz yeah, those had guys the were great, sombrero, man. correct? Is that right, Fred? It was Taz. What's that? Who had the, Taz had the sombrero on. He had the sombrero on, absolutely right. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Yeah, because all the way home, you kept going, I got to get a sombrero like that. I wonder how I could hook my mask to that. And I'm like, eh, you know, I don't I, know. I got good footage of him. Yeah, you do. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Kiko, you got some terrific footage when we were down there. That was uh, absolutely very, very cool. I so still you're, haven't you're, seen you, any footage. I'm, I'm dying haven't. to see some footage. Yes. Oh, Kiko watches it every night. 1995, and you get a hoodie. <laughs> it's sure. 100 hours of paintball. Yeah, he, uh, what'd you get about a half hour of them guys, didn't you? Uh, I got, yeah, yeah. Uh, Taz was, uh, coming down that wire. Remember that with the shields? And you guys were all at the shields going, yeah. Yes, yeah. yes, definitely. Yes. Yeah, I was taking the shots from the first strike from the far side of the field, those guys trying to shoot at you. Wow, yeah. Oh, so, man. Yeah, because you, you were talking about the, the first strikes for Wisdom by you. Oh, they hit me in the head a couple of times on the video. You hear me? Stop. That's whack, what whack, happened whack. to you. That's I knew yeah. something happened. And you guys to you. were that taking uh, some heat. Taz was, uh, they left you up there, right? About 10 of your guys came up behind you. And uh, yeah, they all got shot. Good stuff. I'll probably release that after the tournament here, coming up here in February. Very Once cool. Good stuff with everybody, Bud and everybody. And that'll be, uh, yeah. Okay, yeah, you're gonna do it at my tournament, right? We're gonna have a, uh, uh, yeah, the grand or the uh, premiere, right? Yeah, that's what I heard. At the that's theater. Pretty cool. Yep. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Okay, I'm still gonna allow you in then. Very cool. All right. Yeah. I like it. All right. I'll come in. So the back. Taz, hold the door for me. Okay. okay. All right. <laughs> so Taz, your turn, yeah. buddy. How'd you get? How'd you get started in paintball, buddy? Well, actually, um, started. I just started recently, maybe about two years ago, playing. 
Um, I've been watching paintball for a while. Um, back from when Bob Long, 95, 96, old school paintball videos. I watched um, paintball for a long time, but I couldn't never really get with Hopper. That was always my thing with it. I couldn't really run the Hopper. And when MagFed came out, it was just like the ambassador to paintball for me. That's what pulled me in. So um, I started playing by myself at you know a couple of different fields here in New York. Um, I was traveling around by myself, Pennsylvania, Connecticut, just playing around, getting a feel by myself. Um, then I heard about the New York Savage Beast um, and Ghost Team. It was an up and coming team. He was leading them in the right direction in the community. And I was offered a chance to try out. And I came to tryouts and the rest is history. Oh, very cool. Yeah. Hey, so you guys, do you get to play with the ghost much? Do you guys, because uh, I know you flew out, you both, real quick, everybody, these two guys flew from New York out to play the big game down the PBSL game, end game down to San Luis Obispo this year. Oh, no, just last year. Yeah, I'm going to kick that guy. I got to work on that. Yeah. Uh, anyhow, this last year. And, uh, but they flew all the way here to play in that game. Now, how could that? That's dedication. You, you, you got to absolutely love it. Stole so, yeah, it, but that wasn't your first time you guys flew out and did this, was it? To your uh, coast? Yes, it was. Yes, it was. Oh, was it the first time? Yes. Yes. Oh, because somebody was telling me that you guys came out here before and played. No, that was actually the first time we decided to uh, take flight into another state much farther. Um, I, I, I decided because we usually play a lot of local games in the tri-state area and stuff like that. And I decided this time I want to make a big impact in the paintball community and help grow the sport. And so I decided it's time for us to travel. And I have a, I, I, I have a paintball tour and I want to hit every single state possible in this loving country. Oh, very cool. You know, I'll tell you one. It, uh, Billy, when's, when's Monte Casino next year? Uh, that'll be April 31st and May 1st. Like I said, yeah. And uh, that's in uh, uh, Root House, Illinois. So that's not that yeah. far from you. But uh, if you guys if you guys want to come and do something that's a lot of fun, that is a lot of fun. Yeah. Absolutely. So, yeah, it is. And uh, It's crazy because California was the furthest I've been, period in life oh really yeah that was my furthest trip ever besides like canada. but canada for us is only like six hours away yeah well i love that new york across guys. the country yeah i i play you know my first tournament um world cup in uh new york i believe was in uh, 88 i think it was and uh i played out there for a lot of years uh, my team was constant pursuit and uh, we would always, I mean, I'd look forward, like I said at the beginning of my show, I'd look forward to the World Cup in New York and then the Masters, uh, Jim Lively's Masters down in Tennessee. But I love New York. I had a, a great, great time there. Never a bad time. And, and you know, I, people treated me great. I just absolutely loved it. So, and you know, Ghost, if you guys, and Taz, if you guys ever get a chance to link up with Francis, you know, he has the Hellhounds. Uh, he, first of all, he's a hell of a good player, but he's uh, he's like you guys are. You know, he's uh, just a great, great Americans. guy, and he works really hard for the sport of paintball. And uh, Francis, you went and played a PPSL tournament, I understand, that you drove to Ion's place, and it was like four hours away or something like that? Yeah, the uh, the first PPSL that was over in New Hampshire I went yeah. to. I didn't get to make the second one. I had to work, but I made it to the first one. Yeah, that was a long drive, though, I heard, right? Yeah, it was about, it was just under four hours. Just under four hours. Wow. I wasn't with them, Fred. Yeah, you know, yeah, I, I knew that was coming up, too, because Kiko, Kiko, when we went down to San Luis yeah. Obispo, you know, we're about two and a half hours away. If you use your GPS, but if you use yeah. the Kiko, you are five hours away. I'm a pathfinder. Oh, hey, we, we, hey, yeah, we pass the same store. My head to the ground. Times. Yeah, we go that yeah, away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, yeah, that was a good one. But uh, I understand you know Ian personally, then, right? Yeah, yeah. I got to spend a bunch of time with him that day. Yeah, he he's he's from out here. He's such a cool guy, isn't he? Yeah, he's a good guy. He yeah. he's, he does a lot for the sport for sure. He's a hardworking guy. He so is. He's doing you know, good things over there. We did we did a cancer benefit about a year and a half 
two years ago now. And uh, I donated one of the, the bottles, the tanks, and he actually won it. That's how I met him. I actually have a, a eight by 10 of him and I holding the tank hanging in my room in there, man. So uh, he, he was so happy to win that. And he was such a, I mean, we sat and talked. And he was such a great guy. And then when I found out he was moving out there, and he was going to work on uh, getting the PBSL running up there. I thought that was pretty cool. And what I thought was really cool is when I heard that you were going to support him. Yeah, I mean, you had him on, and yeah. you know, it, it's it's relatively close enough. You can get there in a day. You can drive back in a day. You know, and that's that's the whole thing. Is is is, is it possible? Yes. Okay, so let's go and do it. You know, if but I can you- fit it in, I'm going to. Some things, unfortunately, can't fit in, but. You do what you can. Yeah. You know, no. The same people that do it for, back for you. Yeah. But, you know, every, every little bit helps. You know, what it does is it just, uh, it, it showed him that, that you were, you had his back, you know, yeah. because uh, I don't know how many people showed up the first time, but I heard the weather was bad and everything that about it. Um, but, you know, you still took the time. You made the effort to go all the way there. And then on top of it, you met a hell of a nice guy. Yeah. There's, there's a bunch of guys that I met there. You know, they're, really? all, they're all great guys that all love playing paintball. Yeah. So you you never knew him until you seen him on the show here? No. Oh, wow. <laughs> that's that's very cool. Yeah, he's a, he's a great person. I, oh, and, a, you know, Ghost, if you guys ever get a chance, to, the PBSL is uh, it's a heck of a, a way to go play paintball. Um, they do it a lot out here, too. It's an organization. And uh, what it is is they have a draw thing. They have like three-man tournaments and four-man tournaments, and they take cards. So when you get there, it doesn't matter who you go with. The cards are all messed up, and you draw a card. So if you draw number three, whoever draws the other two or no, other three number threes, that is your team. So oh, it's a, nice. it's a great way to get to – oh, it's a great way to get to meet people. I got a yes, question, people. Fred. For all Shoot. three, uh, the fields you guys patronize the most back there. Francis or anybody? Yeah, Francis, start with you. What's what's the field that you go play at the most? Um, probably the Give first me. field that I played at, uh, War Club Paintball up in Rome, New York. Um, but I've been going down to Jerry's World there, Jerry Brown's place, and my team's been practicing with um Giant Joker and his auto men. Oh, is that right? Yeah. I, you ever you ever see the blasters out there, Kevin and them guys? Yeah, I just saw Kevin two, three weeks ago. Oh, did you? Um, yeah, he's doing good. He recognized me and everything. We talked for a couple minutes. Oh, we all um, recognize I'm gonna you. I'm going to be back on. down there. And, You're one of the uh, group now. Back down there January 16th for another team practice. Yeah, he just called me today. I haven't called. I, I tried to call him back, but all I got was his message thing. But, uh, yeah, Kevin, you know, he's actually the tip of the spear uh, for the WCPL. You know, he's the one that actually got it going and got me involved and everybody else involved. So, you know, Bill and, and Tim got one and Rico Fernandez got one and Jerry's got one in New York. And and then uh, Marcus Davis, uh, another close friend of mine, has one over in England. So, you know, all three of you guys, you know, we got we got to get you guys, uh, you know, hopefully uh, things will lighten up a little bit this year. And maybe we can get you guys to do a little traveling with us, you know, go go over to England and you'd love it over there. It's uh, it's a great time. It really, really is. You oh, love the man. people there too. So, ghost. Love I, it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, you know what? That's what. That's what I want to do. That's that's my whole gig, man. Is is bringing people together to go go do some cool things and, and make paintball even grow. And that's what we're going to do this year. You know, now that I know you guys and, and you guys are now a part of it, just like Francis is. You know, I, I met Francis last year. Total respect for the guy. It's just. Uh, yeah, you know, I don't stand close to him because he's too good looking. So, you know, nobody <laughs> looks at me then, you know. So, but other than that, you know, I just, uh, he's uh, he's a heck of a player and a good guy. And now, Ghost, it's going to be the same thing with you, buddy. You know, uh, we want to get you linked up with with some of the people, uh, you know, some of the founders of the sport, some of the people that, that uh, really made paintball what it is today. You know, and that's the problem with a lot of the youngsters getting into the sport is they just don't understand who really worked their butts off back in the day to make paintball like it is now. Uh, it, it was not easy. Yeah. yeah that's awesome. You know, I mean, yeah, things were rough. You know? to... Yeah. When I first went to, to uh, MGM Disney to uh, try to get a, a show on 
and put it on ESPN. It was uh, like nine months to do it. And uh, it was the number one show on ESPN. And then I did, uh, after that, Road Rules got a hold of me. Tico was on Road Rules with me. And uh, yeah, that show rocked. What they aired that? They aired that like, a, what, 162 times that year? People call me up at three o'clock in the morning going, hey, man, you're on TV. You know, I go, click. <laughs> you know, come on, man. <laughs> Give me a break here. <laughs> so... But yeah, um, but that's what we want to do this year, too, is we just want to um, I want to do some things in paintball and I'm going to do just like I did with all my other shows. I put my friends on because, you know, those are the guys that, that believe in you and those are the guys you trust to do stuff. So, Gio, our ghost, you, what is your best field that you play right now? Give them some love. Let, you know, tell people um, about it. I got to give a huge shout out to Cousins which they are also our sponsors. Um, great fields. They have multiple fields in New York, uh, New Jersey, I believe in Texas, if I'm not mistaken. They have a couple of fields out there. The fields are great. Yeah. Um, this is where we go play. We host events as well. And um, it, it's, it's a great place to play. What, what events do you host, Ghost? I'm sorry? <clears throat> what events do you host? Um, the first event we've ever hosted was Black Hawk Down. Um, but it was this event wasn't in um at Cousins. At that time we wasn't sponsored yet by Cousins. So we hosted this event at Matt's Outback Paintball in Connecticut. It was a pretty successful event. Um we took a lot of feedback, both negative and positive, and um we took the feedback great. Uh we heard what everyone had to say in the community. And we made some changes. We implemented some changes from the community, you know, some some stuff that we needed to take away and add. And uh, we took uh, the criticism very well, which should always be taken, you know, because yeah, yeah. it's always great to learn from experienced players. You know? they, it, that, but that happens, you know. I mean, you know, none of us are gods, you know. And, uh, you know, if you don't try it, you'll never know if it would be right or if it would be wrong, you know, Absolutely. it's just, it's just a trial and error thing when you do anything like that. You know, we got Andy Strett watching us right now. I don't know if you guys know Andy Strett, but uh, Andy's uh, one of the, yeah, Andy's one of the good guys. He has Ellie Remember Foundation. And this last um, Christmas, he's going to text me now because I'm sure I want to say that they collected like $5,000 worth of stuff and uh, for food and everything and went and gave out to everybody in the Colorado area. Um, I was waiting for my turkey, Andy. I, I think I got there late, though. But anyhow, um, he's a, if you guys ever get a chance, uh, the Ellie Remember Foundation, if you guys ever get a chance to contribute to something and you want to, to help a lot of people out, Andy Stretch, the guy to do it. Just get a hold of him and he'll, uh, he'll hook you up. So it's, uh, he's a pretty good guy. So, Taz, up to you, buddy. Now, I guess you're going to say the same field as Ghost did, right? For the most part, I concur. Cousins overall collectively been at. They have multiple good fields. I guess I could say went out, but we play at a lot of really good fields. Like I, we have a, a field called EMR. I love playing at EMR. EMR has a great field. Um, skirmish, you know, Tipman City. That's just you know almost like a mecca of paintball. So right. those are good fields. But you know, Cousins has to win out because of the amount of good fields collectively. Is the Tipman thing, is that, is that part of uh, uh, Tipman Pneumatics? Are they part of that, or is that just called Tipman Field? Um, in, in Pennsylvania, in Skirmish? Yeah. Well, well Skirmish, that's owned by uh, Paul Fogel, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. You know, that that's where we did the very first world record-breaking game was there. We had uh, 26 or 2,700 people there. Um, Tommy and I, Tom, Tom K had air gun designs. We went out there and uh, it was a lot of fun, but I got to tell you, you get a couple thousand people pretty soon. You're, you're standing in the other team and not knowing it because everybody's so intertwined with each other. I mean, it was, uh, it yeah, was uh, pretty crazy, but it was still a lot of fun. But yeah, um, uh, Cleo, you know, she also uh, owned part of that field, and uh, 
Yeah, that's a great field to play out there, too. I got to tell you. You know, guys, if you ever have any big games or anything, Ghost, at any of your fields and, and you do something like that, you need to let me know so that, you know, Bill and I can help you promote some of this stuff and, and bring people into it. Uh, absolutely. I, I appreciate it. Um, I, I have uh, um, an event uh, in the works right now. I'm not sure as to uh, what month to do it in because there's so many events going on right now and I don't want to step on anybody's toes. Um, you know, I do consider... Uh, other hosts and promoters that throw events and um and i yeah, just want to you know that's sure that's that... extremely hard you know there's there's 52 yeah. weekends in a year you know it's it, the way i look at it is i have nothing against any any big game anything like that people are going to go to where they want to go you know that's yeah. that's just all there is to it you know i would that's never true. force anybody to come and play the wcpl and i wouldn't expect anybody to to do the same thing. I just think that, uh, you know, a, a lot of times, just like, you know, there's a tournament out here and there's a tournament the same weekend back East, but you know, some of these guys can't fly back there and vice versa. Some of the guys from back East can't come out to do these tournaments, you know? So I just say, you know, there's enough room for everybody. We just, there. Uh, I'm just not too much into the infighting. So it's uh, like I say, there's 52 weekends in a year, find a weekend yeah. where something's not happening. Good luck. That's you know? true. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, when you have your event, let me know. I'd be more than happy to, to help you publicize it. And, and, you know, maybe sometime this year when you have something, too, maybe I get a chance I could fly out there and, and play alongside you guys. Oh, that would be that'd awesome. Be that would be so great. Oh, I would love it. Absolutely love it. I, I was actually going to come down and play when we were in San Luis Obispo, but Billy and I played a tournament in uh, St. Louis uh, yeah. about, Who's what was that, that Billy, about – Eight, six, eight weeks before that, about six weeks before that, something like that. Yeah. And we played eight games that day. And the last 15 seconds of the last game, I'm running from one bunker to the other and tore a muscle in my left calf. Ooh. We played eight games all day long. Not a problem. You know, obviously, you know, my stuff stiffens up on me, but, you know, I just 15 <laughs> seconds to go. It's because all those calisthenics we do between the games, Fred. You know, we should we're gonna have to lay off on those. Yeah, you can't count lifting your arm neat that Twinkie. That doesn't count. <laughs> There's zebra tape, not Twinkies. <laughs> Bill, you got some questions for these guys? Yes. Uh shoot. Finally, Francis, uh, what was your first paintball marker that you used? It was a JT outcast and one of those packs that you could buy at Walmart. Yeah. With the yeah. awful mask and the awful hopper, it cost me like sixty bucks. But I used that thing for uh, about five years. I used that thing, and I took down quite a few guys with very expensive markers of that. It's actually hanging yeah. up on the wall, and yeah. uh, in my dad's barn with all the rest of the stuff in the the Hall of Fame. Yeah, excellent. I think that thing put in more work than almost any other marker that I've ever seen. Yeah, that's oh, all very cool. That's all that matters. Uh, Ghost, same question. Uh, it was uh, Tipman 98 custom. Yep. That wasn't the first mark I, I've ever used. Now, did you modify it afterwards or did you move on to another marker? I did not modify it. Um, I wasn't, you know, I didn't have the knowledge of modifications back then, anything like that. And then um, from that, I never used anything else until. Uh, I purchased the TMC, the Tipman TMC. Yeah. And now I just own like over 20 markers, all MacFed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, well, I do have a Ether 2 and I have a Vulcan code. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, MacFed's pretty big out here too. It's it's pretty yeah. big out here. Yeah. Uh, Taz, you're up, buddy. Taz, same question. First marker. The uh, Tipman TMC. I went match fed first out the gate. Yeah. So, but now I got the, like 12 markers at this point. I have Matt Devs. I have a Die M3, Die Dam. Uh, I got a T15. I got an MG100. So I have many markers. Yeah. But I play all styles now that I played before. I didn't like the hopper. Now it's just an extension of my wrist. <laughs> yeah. Wow, very yeah. cool. Kiko, hold yours up. What is it? 
a wrap four. First strike and round ball capabilities. With the scope, it has green and red dots. I'm bad. I'm the bad oh, yeah. man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's pretty good, man. You know what you, know you end up putting against your shoulder this time. I like that. The Taz, I got him. He's You're a maniac. You're crazy. And when I play with you, I'm going to be on your team. <laughs> but, uh, you're a that's bad just man. what I'm here for. You're not man. Five, man. Oh, oh, there I you like go. That. I like that, Bill. Yeah. <laughs> Is that this will rip caliber? you in half. <laughs> is that a 40 or 50 caliber? Uh, nope. This is a 3357. It'll go through, you know, ply, plywood. It's yep. really <laughs> yeah, it's primer fired. Yep. Wow. So, yeah, that thing rips. It'll it'll empty a magazine of 30 in less than two seconds. It's it's just gone Ooh. the minute you pull the trigger. It's like a real machine gun. It's, that was a bud accidentally unloaded one out in my front yard. Uh, <laughs> you didn't have that in the shower with you? Yeah. You what? No, you didn't I didn't have that in the shower with you. No. You better take it with you next time. No. Yeah, see, you could you could have knocked that spider right off the wall yeah, with that. Ammunition's too rare. You can't you can't uh -huh. use it. You got <laughs> great for everybody out there who doesn't understand what we're talking about. Bill was taking a shower the other day. Now, Bill's not a small guy. He's uh, like, what are you, 6'4", 400? Oh, I'm only uh, Okay, okay, 258. And uh, so anyhow, he was taking a shower, and as soon as he got lathered up and got soap all over him, a spider dropped down from the ceiling. He went to hit the spider, and the rest is history. Put his foot through the side of the fiberglass tub, bit the dust. Yep. So that's that's I'm what we're talking about. We talked about the spider. Yeah. So we got he was like he, uh, uh. he's spider hunter now. Yeah. 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 His wife says he goes out every morning now looking for these guys. Closest you kill it. <laughs> I gotta love it, man. Hey, Neb Mill is watching us too. I gotta mention Neb. Uh, that's not his real name. He's he's up in Canada. Um, his real name is Ben. I won't give you his last name, but uh, he is a terrific guy. Uh, you know, if you guys ever get a chance, any of you, uh, Ghost, Taz, Francis, if you see Neb Nilla is who he goes by, friend him. You would absolutely okay. love it. The guy is a terrific person, and he is funny as heck, too. <laughs> and Tina Ruzzo is watching us now. Kathy Alvarez is watching us now. So, wow. Yeah, we're rocking pretty good. 32 people watching. That's what I hear. That's right. That's what I hear. Yeah. Out of the ballpark. Pow. Yeah, that's yeah, that's, that's pretty good live at this time of night because you know, guys, we get most of our views, believe it or not, we get most of our views the next night. Because you know, when I start my show, it's like 10 o'clock. I'm sure Taz and Ghost and, and Francis all know that, obviously. Heck yeah. But uh, <laughs> and nine o'clock for Bill. Waffle House. You know, yeah, you know, I know. Yeah. <laughs> so so the next night, tomorrow, like about uh, 3 o'clock uh, Pacific time and we 6 o'clock, that, that's when we really hit the views. Man, it just goes crazy then. So, But, yeah, 33 people at one time watching is pretty darn good. I watched some of the other podcasts, and I was just the only other guy on there. So, Canada. <clears throat> I, got, yeah. I got another question. What do you guys do to get you know new players out there to play? How do you, how do you go about getting new players? Uh, well, me, uh, well, us personally, we just uh, usually do like uh, like a digital flyer uh, as a promo to throw up on, on social media, letting uh, the community know that, that we're going to be at a specific uh, event or if we're hosting an event, you know, try and come out. If you can come out and make it, it's going to be fun. And um, if we can recruit at the same time, we'll recruit new players into the family. And and that's how we help you know grow uh, the sport and uh, add more to the team. And Taz, how about you? Well, at this point, um, like we try, like Go said, we try to do as much recruiting as we can. Like the other day, um, I was out with my nephews, and we were at a go kart uh, track, and um. We were dressed for paintball, but we didn't get a chance to go. So I was wearing my dump pouch and my tack belt. And I was coming out of the bathroom and a gentleman stopped me. He said, excuse me, sir, do you work here? And I'm like, um, no, I don't. He 
He's like, um, so what's the pouch for? Because that's a dump pouch. I was like, oh, you know what this is. Oh, isn't that great? I'm like, um, you're from around here? Do you play paintball? Or he was like, um, yeah, I play, but I'm from Florida. Oh, well, what do you know? I have a chapter in Florida. Take my information. <laughs> and I'm going to link you up with my chapter down there. And you, he's like, yeah, I got a bunch of guys down there, but we're just like playing amongst ourselves. So it's like, oh, wow. Just went in my dump pouch on a regular day. Possibly got my chapter, maybe six, seven more recruits. So it's, I was told once you become a paintballer, you become an ambassador. So everywhere, all day, you just recruit. Anybody you're, who's willing to listen, it's like, where's my soapbox and my marker to talk about? <laughs> my kind of guy, Taz. You know, that, that's the whole thing. You know, that's what I tell people. You know, if you're the best player in the world on the field and you come off the field and you're a jerk, you do nothing to help us. You might help yourself, but you're not helping our sport. You're not helping your buddy that wants to try to be cool. You know, so that is a great attitude. What, what you just said, two thumbs up. If I had a third hand, I'd give you three thumbs up. That is absolutely cool. Yeah, there you Thank go. You. Thank you so yeah, much. Between Bill and I, you got what? Four? Hey. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's do the wave. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Fred makes me take little pamphlets out and knock on the doors. Yes, that's that's how you get beat up a lot, isn't it? Have you heard the world of paintball? <laughs> that's your Jehovah's Witness job, okay? <laughs> the hope is paintball. Fred, yeah, Billy Graham. You know, style. Hey, that's a thought. Cross marketing. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever heard the word of Fred? Uh, I absolutely love it. I still stick uh, it in the door, right? Yeah. When they're looking out the window, I put it in there. Hello, hello. Hey, Taz, Kathy Alvarez, I, I, you probably don't know her. She's from up in our area here, but she is a master blaster. She is from New York, um, it, but she moved out here when she got married and everything like that. But anyhow, she said that was well said, what you just said. So, see, you're already making an impression, buddy. I want my own chapter, Taz. Thank you so you're much, guys. Morning. I appreciate it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I like that. The Francis Ghost Taz chapter. I like it. It's got a ring to it. Were you looking at your picture in the mirror again? Who's that? Oh, everybody's going. <laughs> yeah, you're number one with me too. Absolutely. Uh, uh, <laughs> I want my own chapter out here, Taz. Yeah. So, how, how many people? Everything is possible in this world of paintball. It, it is. But you, but you know what makes it possible? It's like, you know, we're all sitting here talking right now. We still got 30 people watching this, which is absolutely amazing for a live broadcast like this at one time. But I mean, hey, by this time next week, we'll have what, Kiko? Bill, what, 12, 1400? 1, yeah, 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 we, yeah, it, it takes off after this, believe Reach me. So a lot of people are going to know who the hell you guys reaching are. Reaching out right now. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, but, you know, that this is what brings people into the sport is stuff like we're talking about right now. You know, you guys just all talked about, you know, how you had good times. Taz talked about how, you know, he talks people into coming in and playing and, and just talking paintball and stuff like that in a positive manner with a smile on your face. That's what sucks people in, man. They just absolutely love it. And then once you play paintball, you know, I, I think like one out of 100 person – Hundred people would say, "No, nah, it's not for me." But I think everybody else would be right on, man, big time. I can feel the sucking in right now. Oh, oh, I'm being sucked in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nice seeing you, Kiko. No. <laughs> I'm gonna take you off. I, I don't have a hook, but I got a mouse. Damn it! Remember that finger that happened to Dan Colby once. <laughs> That's right. It did, didn't it? That's right. Don't play that, homie. Yeah, I love it. I love it. So what do you got sitting next to you right there? What is that big ball to your left? Is that a light? Kiko. Earth to Kiko. Vincent Vega. Oh, that's your microphone? Yeah. Holy crap. Where'd it's you get that from? The 1920 the store? When I play <laughs> when I play my guitar. So it, oh. it's a studio mic. For oh, I got it. It looks like something from the 20s. Yeah. Vincent Vega. Vincent Vega, yeah. World of Worlds. 
I wish them well. I absolutely love it. <laughs> right on, man. So, hey, look at, I, gave, I gave Francis a raise. I put you down below. Uh, sorry, York, Kiko. <laughs> Hope you don't take it personally, buddy. Yeah. It's like the gangs of New York here. Yeah. So, real quick, Francis, where's your next tournament? Do you uh, know? Stalingrad at Skirmish, actually. When is it? March. If there's a third week in March, but I can get you a definitive. It's I can tell you. I'll say like twenty third. March twenty. Uh, I believe it's March. No, I believe it's March uh, nineteenth. If I'm not mistaken. No, yeah, nineteenth. I'm looking there right now. 19. March nineteenth. Yeah, oh, you we'll going to that too. too? I'll see you there. Go. Well, see you going there too? On. Yes, now, see, there you go. That's what I'm talking about. You guys all need to link up. You guys all well, have, no. Really, if you he's guys on the wrong the side, I'm just going to be shooting him all day. Yeah, absolutely. Maybe hey, we can you, hook up. You guys, hey, real quick. Us. Hold tight, Kiko. Hey, hey, did you guys ever uh, get to meet Bud Orr? Yes. Well, say hi to Bud Orr, everybody. Hi, guys. How hi, you doing? Guys. Hi, Bud Orr. Nice to meet you. Uh, glad, glad to see you guys on here. You're, you're a kick. I love it. Yeah, they're a pretty. They're a pretty good group, bud. Um, these, these are uh, some pretty good guys. Uh, these are guys like you and I. They love paintball, buddy. Yeah, I know. They, I, I, I've uh, seen them, and I've met a couple, I think. And uh, Kiko looks like he's mad all the time. I'm not sure. Man. No, no. <laughs> hey, no, no. hey get, get me a, give me a smile, man. There you I'm go. On early release work program. Yeah. Yeah. So I go do the weekends. Uh, uh, oh, you guys, you, you guys are awesome. You know, I've been watching all night. No, awesome. my, my my hat. Well, if I had hair, oh well, my hat. <laughs> right on, bud. Hey, we. I appreciate you jumping on tonight and saying hi to these guys. These, uh, you already know Francis. We played against Francis at the World Cup. Remember? Yeah. With the Hellhounds. Yep. Yeah. And uh, yeah, these guys, you know, Taz and Ghost, they came out here and played uh, with Gumby. Uh, down at the end game two uh, uh, about a month and a half ago, something like that. And Gumby, they were just Gumby, after, none, yeah, yeah. Gumby's awesome. Yeah, yeah, he is. Yep. He, he these guys played on his team down there. The oh, Taz wow. and uh, the Ghost. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome, man. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, they yeah, flew all the way out from New York. Cool people. Yes, I got footage of them. More than I got of David Justin, the guy with two first names. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. These two guys, one they got on the, camera. the camera loves the Taz and the ghost. You yeah. got to send us that footage. I got you got to send us that footage. Oh, yeah. it, it'll be it'll be coming. We're gonna, he's going to drag it out uh, when we do our tournament. Uh, Bud and I got the tournament uh, up here on uh, February 5th and 6th up in Orville, and uh, that's going to be the first WCPL tournament. If you guys get a chance uh, through the year, too, you know, we got uh, five different tournaments, the WCPL. Uh, if you get a chance, you're going to definitely want to play the one in New York. Am I right, Francis? So much fun. So Was much that fun. that a riot? Yes. Yeah, I mean, if, if, definitely, even definitely. if you don't play, just going and seeing it. I mean, it's right down the road from um, – you guys know where MSG is, right? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's literally 15 minutes from MSG. Okay, cool. I mean, we have a, a UMFL a Mad Fed Fury at MSG on the 9th, actually, this Sunday coming up. Yeah, it's literally like 15 minutes away from there. So even, cool. even if you don't come play, go and, and just see the games. It's so much fun. Oh, it was. Yeah, what, did we have a riot this last year or what? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Yeah, that was a that was a, a heck of a heck of a game against uh, the Hellhounds. I got to tell you, that was a lot of fun. Yeah. And well, we're out of I'm sorry, I couldn't shoot at you, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> Fred, we'll yeah. be live streaming that. We're going to try to live stream that. Correct? That's what I hear. Just like uh, we're having here, we're going to have six cameras from the field operating at the same time, one at each flag station, and then four in the middle of the field 
in the finals. We're going to try that. So this way, yeah, so people can tune in just like they're watching right now on the split screen here. They'll be able to tune in. And we got one special camera that's going to follow Bud Orr around. Um, but uh, the rest of them, <laughs> the rest of them, we're going to have on the field. Just don't forget you got the camera on when you go to the bathroom or whatever. That's... Yeah, well, I, you know, I tell I tell Kiko that, but he's got some kind of a thing that he likes. I, I don't, don't go know. to the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah he, he holds it yeah, until take care January of my business on the field. <laughs> yeah, I'm ref. Uh, I mean, I, I ain't got. I'll, I'll wear some depends or something. Yeah, that's that's what I thought you did. Yeah, I thought it looked. I'll never bulky. have to leave. <laughs> like the astronauts. Yeah, oh, we, we, we had a guy with, with a camera and everything mounted. This was back in by 2004, and he forgot. And he went out of bounds and went to take a piss. You know, and, <laughs> and it's like, oh, and we didn't know. We didn't know any of this. And they're doing the editing, and my buddy called me, you know, and he's like, uh, hey, is, you know, Jake's sitting there pissing on camera. I'm like, what? <laughs> And I <laughs> forgot he was wired with a camera. So we oh, that, that's nothing. You should have seen this picture of this weirdo at Monte Casino in the outhouse with this big roll of toilet paper. Oh, yeah, I <laughs> seen that guy. That was, yeah. that was pretty weird. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> you remember him, huh? What happened to Taz? It was, the, it was the biggest roll of toilet oh, paper there I ever seen. There he is. <laughs> Yeah, that was funny. That, cr that cracked me up when I seen that. I'm not going to be one one up there, Fred, so I'm going to do it live. <laughs> there you go. Double dog dare me. There you go. Well, Kiko, I'm going to let you say goodnight, buddy, because we've gone our hour, so you're number one. All right. I appreciate the Taz, the Ghost. Pleasure talking with you guys again. Uh, Francis up there, and, of course, Bud Orr, uh, Bill Bailey. Thank you, man. Spider man himself, working <laughs> on those moves. Oh, I will. And uh, once again, like Fred said, uh, the field WCPL, February 3rd to the 5th. Mark it on your calendar. Live streaming in the finals. Unprecedented. Uh, good show. Looking forward to seeing Bud up here. And uh, be safe, everybody. Till next time, it'll be next time. All right. Later, Later on, on, man. All right. All right. All right. No, no. Don't do it, Fred. Please don't. There's <laughs> 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 uh, Kiko, man. I love the guy. <laughs> Please tell me you're bringing him to New York with you. Uh, all right, well, yeah, I, I might do. But you know what Kiko does is, you know, Kiko, when I go live now, because we're going to different places to go live, Kiko does the roaming around. That's that's actually how he got Taz and Ghost. He went and did uh, uh, an interview with them and then went out on the field and actually uh, sat out there and watched them play. He got the crap shot out of him. <laughs> So, but uh, especially, I guess, I guess Taz and Ghost are not the guys to hang with <laughs> on the field. <laughs> because we like to be in the front of the front in the fight of the fight. Okay, you know, oh, yes. that's what I like to, you know, what's the sense of playing unless you can't get up there and do it to it, man? You know? Yeah. Absolutely. There's no fun in the parking lot. Yeah. Respawn 15 minutes away. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Taz, well, you're next, buddy. I'm going to let you say goodbye to everybody. Guys, thank you for having me. It's an honor and a pleasure to be on the cast. I can't wait to play with some of you guys. Can't wait to fly back out there, see some of those fields. I want to see SC Village. That's definitely a stop I want to make. WCPL, we're definitely coming to play with you guys. Definitely going to see what that's happening over there. But once again, Thank you. It was definitely a pleasure to be here. Love you guys. Love the sport. Love the community. Stay safe. Everybody show love. Right on, Taz. Wow. You know, I, I told Ghost uh, um, earlier, I said, you know, if you got another guy you want to bring on, go ahead and let's hook him up and do it. That was a great, great, three greats now. I'm going to hit you with a third great because that's really good. That was a great guest that you brought on. He's a good guy. Thank you. Thank you. I, I like it. And, uh, and the same way with you, um, you know, uh, I want to thank you an awful lot for coming on tonight. You know, uh, that was pretty cool. And you got to say hi to Bud Orr, you know. I mean, that's about as <laughs> as cool as it gets, you know. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to let you say your goodbyes now. Um, again, thank you for having me. It's a pleasure and an honor. Uh, it's, it's, it was great meeting all you guys. Um, it's always I love to learn from different players, uh, legends of the sport, and and 
and grow, help grow the community. Um, and I look forward to seeing all you guys out there in, in different fields, uh, different states. Um, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, NY Savage Beast. And um, I look forward to seeing you at a state near you. Sounds great, man. Will you stay safe? And again, Ghost, thank you so much for coming on tonight. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. All right. Yeah, I'm looking, you know, I'm going to have you guys back on again. So um, I'd like to have you guys back on again in, in maybe six, seven weeks. That's okay. Absolutely. Definitely. It'll uh, be I'll nice. do it Thank you so after much. After they square off. What's that? I'd I do it after they square off at Stalingrad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right on, yeah, Ghost. Yeah. You have a good evening, buddy. All right. You too. Thanks again. Thank you. All right, everybody. That was Ghost of the New York Savages. Uh, Great, great bunch of guys, huh, huh bud? Uh, awesome. Yeah, just uh, I was very, very happy that, Do, that they came on tonight. You, you know, and with Francis, you can't. You oh, know. no, they're, uh, they're a great bunch of guys, man. Great bunch of guys. Yeah, they they absolutely are. So, Francis, it's your turn, buddy. I'm going to let you say goodbye to everybody. And first of all, I want to start by thanking you for coming on tonight. Of course. Anytime. Uh, I'd like to thank you for taking it easy on us in New York. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, you guys won that one fair and square. I think I think Tim bought off. I think I think Tim bought off. You gave me another scar on my head. <laughs> Go ahead, Francis. Uh, thanks, I man. think you Be gave nice. me another scar on my head, Francis. Yeah, yeah. So, somebody gave him a shot on the head there. I'm yeah, I did. I got a big knot. One. <laughs> the only time I'm not taking credit. Uh, it had, well, it had to been you. It had to been you. <laughs> just kidding. Uh, it's always fun <laughs> hanging out with you guys. You know, anytime you need me, just give me a call. And for sure, I, you know, I got to get out there to play with you guys. You guys got to get up here. Keep telling you, come to, come to Ion this year. I'll set you up with a nice little, nice little camp with us, and we'll have a blast. That's the one where everybody camps out, huh? Yeah, I so the group that I camp with, we I could literally throw a ball to where the alleys insert. It's that close. It's like the oh, best wow. camping spot ever. All fenced in. It's all one giant family. The Thursday night before the game, the first ID, the group that we're in, we're doing a big old family dinner. You know, last year we had like 30 people there. The goal is this year to have 50, 60 of, of the, you know, 200 people that play all at one big table all just having one big family dinner. Everyone brings food and everything. So it's it's a, so much fun. It sounds great. Well, Francis, I want to thank you very much for coming right. on tonight, partner. I'd have to play thank against you. you. That might be a bad <laughs> choice, Bill. Come on. I, I'll, I'll play I'll play alongside you, Francis. <laughs> all right. You have a great day, buddy. I will. <laughs> all right. All right, everybody. That was Mr. Francis Swain uh, from the Hill Hounds. Uh, great great guy he really really is uh i was so impressed with him you know when last year when we were at the world cup <laughs> half his team left the first day you know I, i'm thinking what is wrong with them guys you know and francis and four other guys stayed out there and other guys jumped in to give him a hand and they had a great time yes so, yeah, that was up, pretty people. cool of them huh bud stand up people really nice i mean supportive that's what you call it, real supportive. You know. Yeah, absolutely. And, and you know, they're good for the sport. But, you know, you know how you and I we and Bill, you know, that's all I try to do is build this sport. Keep building, 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 bringing more people in and giving it a, a more positive uh, a look. When people look at our sport, I like them seeing smiling faces and people getting along and everything. And these guys that we had on tonight they're, are just that. Yeah. There's no enemies when you're playing a ball. On the field, maybe, but not off the field. It's all family. So there's n never an enemy. So that's that's what it should be. You're absolutely right, bud. Well, bud, I appreciate you jumping on tonight to say hi to those guys. I know that was a charge for them. You know, I get to see you quite a bit, and it's a charge for me every time. <laughs> <laughs> it's my pleasure, man. And this is, uh, I mean, I can't say enough about you and Bill. So, and I owe Bill a phone call. I haven't talked to him in uh, four days. Nobody talks to him anymore. I was in the desert running around 
No, yeah, every, every, I was in the desert running around. No. Uh, yeah. It, 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 you know, ever, ever since that, everybody Buddy, heard that a spider whooped his butt. Nobody talks to him no more. <laughs> <laughs> you remember Larry Cassio? Well, yeah. that name rings a bell. Uh, yeah, he used Warrior to tell insurance to everybody. And insurance. Warrior Sports. Yeah. 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 Well, he, CIA. He, he just, uh, I just bought a buggy for him. He wants me to build it for him. I bought it yesterday. Oh, so oh, he's gonna cool. be he's yeah, gonna man. be out. I'm gonna try and pull him out here um, when we have our game. So it's, it, yeah, is it a, a a sand buggy or a side by side? No, it's a side by side, new one, brand new one. The um, the uh, Polaris uh, um, Sport the Razor uh, Pro, the Pro oh. Razor Pro, yeah. badass. Yeah, those are nice. They're about they're about twenty two thousand, I think, something like no, that. No, uh, add ten. <laughs> really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, they're a, they're a heck of a thing, though, man. What is it? Got a thousand cc's? Uh, it's uh no, it's more. It's uh 180 horsepower twin uh, wow. turbo. It it's um it's pretty bad, you know. Wow, it's, it sounds uh, that way. Yeah. It'll be better. <laughs> well, he It'll said be no, when he's done. He said no <laughs> limit. No, just fix Woo! it like a pure. Oh wow! Okay. okay. Uh, wow. Yeah. Well, you know, I'll bud, put another turbo on it. There you go. Oh, yeah. Double turbo. Well, bud, I'm gonna let you uh, yeah. wish everybody uh, a happy yeah, new thanks. year, and um, I want to thank you right off the top. Thank you so much for jumping on and saying hi to those guys. I know they appreciated the heck out of that. It, it's my pleasure, and happy new years to all of our family and. Um, Love you guys and uh, keep playing paintball, play safe. You know, that's that's it. And it's a nutshell, right on, brother. Hopefully, I'll well, see you. Watch you. So, take care. Yeah. Love you guys. All right, well, say hi to Kathy for us. Oh, we will. You do the thing. I right. will, brother. Bye bye. Right. <laughs> Everybody, Mr. Bud Orr. I mean, that guy needs no introduction at all. Period, boy. You know what's cool is is he jumps on and says hi to these guys, and these guys appreciate the heck right out of that. Yeah, that is yeah. uh, that's a classy guy. Period. I absolutely love it. Really he, do. He's one of my favorite characters. He's yep. He's hilarious. Well, pretty yeah. good show tonight, Bill. Yep. He's Again, we ran long, but I, you know I try to keep it at an hour, but sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. So. Yep. Well, you never know with Keith being on there. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I love the guy. He's pretty funny, man. Yeah. Yeah. I just say it was cool to Bud to jump on and say hi to those guys, though. You know, I mean, yeah, I, I like watching guys' eyes when Bud Orr jumps on. You know, they're like, oh my God, is that really him? You know, no, it's not a cardboard well, cutout because his lips are moving. So <laughs> I've, I've, had, cool. I've been in events and had old school players like almost run away because they're like, they're, they're like, uh, like scared to talk to Bud. <laughs> Just show shocked. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, I know it. I know it. I He's love the guy. guy. Just yeah. go talk to I, him. I absolutely love the guy. He is. Uh, he's done so much for paintball over the years, and he is still rocking. I just, I absolutely love the guy, and I use the word love very sparingly. You know, I mean, I love my wife, I love my family, I love food, um, but you know, uh, I got to say that I absolutely love Bud or Jim Schloss. Yeah. Yeah, these guys are. they're just the best of the best so Heck yeah all right billy well i'm gonna let you wish everybody a happy new year and uh yeah. everybody have a great 2022 and uh we'll see you in about a week and hopefully it'll start warming up <laughs> i'm with you there He's i'm with you started. big time brother oh, there he is. It's like oh my god <laughs> i all right i got to go see tim today oh did you yeah we went up to this field in the uh, just kind of hung out a little while. And of course, we went and had Lion's Choice. Yeah, of course. Yes, roast beef in uh, St. Yeah. Louis. Yeah, I, I got a sneaky feeling that's after the reason you drive down there, but I won't mention that. It's the only reason. We <laughs> 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 right on, Billy. All right. We'll All see right, you guys. Have a good evening. Yep, you do. All right, everybody. It was Mr. William Bailey. You know, sorry I ran a little bit long, but... Uh, you know, I had a great group on tonight. Um, you know, these guys, uh, Ghost, Taz, and Francis, and then 
Kiko and then uh, Bud jumping in and saying hi to everybody. Um, you know, I, I just have to let that run a little long sometime. So I just want to thank everybody I had on tonight. Uh, a special thanks always to Mr. Bud Orr. Um, like I say, I can't say enough about the guy. I absolutely love the guy. He's a, a tremendous person, tremendous human being. So I thank you all so much for watching tonight. You guys were a great group. I, I am looking so forward to this year, having some cool guests on. Um, I want to really spread it around. You know, I, I, I want to just keep bringing people together. I'm hoping Francis, Ghost, and Taz all link up at that tournament that they're going to now uh, in a month or two, you know, and that's going to be cool because that's how you build people. Everybody becomes one big friend and then everything seems to work better. No fighting. Just everybody getting along and building our sport that we love. So please, I thank you so much for watching us. Till next Tuesday, 7 o'clock Pacific time on Facebook on Flagpole Productions. Please play hard, play safe, play fair, but get out there and play paintball. Till next week, you guys take it easy.